How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. Today I have a little tip for Sony shooters, especially Sony shooters who shoot in studios. If you have ever used your camera in a studio, it looks fantastic and the viewfinder is brilliant because it kind of shows you exactly what you're going to get. The problem is that if you're shooting at say f8 or f10 and you're at a low shutter speed like 1 over 100 and your ISO is as low as it goes, all you see is black. And the reason for that being that you're relying on your lighting to come from strobes or speed lights or flashes. So there's no available light going in, so what you see is what you get. Well, luckily there's a nice easy way around that. So let's jump into the menu. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's say that this is your, your standard setup, right? You're in a studio, you're shooting portraits, so you might be going to, you know, F8, F9. And your shutter speed is probably going to be about 1 over 60 at the most. And then your ISO, well, let's say you've got ISO 50. Well, you can't really see anything, can you? And if we look in the viewfinder, I mean, it's probably not going to focus, but you can't see anything there either. So your framing is going to be a little bit difficult. However, there is a function to remove this see what you get feature on the Sony cameras. And in the menu, if you just scroll along to where you find live view display on the a7 III, it's on tab two, page six. I'm not sure where it is on other models. I know that on the a6500, it's not on tab two, page six. It's somewhere else. Uh, but anyway, for the a7 III, it is on that page. Just scroll along. It'll be called the same thing, live view display, and it'll say setting effect on. And all you have to do is turn that off. And if you exit that, suddenly you can see again. Yay! Now it's a little bit annoying to have to go through the menu, scroll until you find that page, that tab, and then turn it on and off. It, it's a bit clunky, right? So instead what I've done is actually gone to custom key for photos, not for videos, because for videos you want to see what you get. Uh, but for photos, so in the custom key here, I've just come along to whichever custom key I'm not using. Now, the wheel I set for aperture because it mimics my Canon days, which I like, I was used to that. Uh, the custom button one, which is up the top here. Um, focus magnifier when I'm in manual focus. Uh, custom button two, focus mode to switch between manual focus and continuous AF. And then custom button three, I don't use because eye focus is set to this joystick centering the focus point is set there and I use AF on for back focusing. So I, I wasn't using C3 for anything in photo mode. I do in video mode, but not in photo mode. And so you can select live view disp cell. So select to set straight to that custom button. And then all you have to do is tap it on and tap it off. And just like that, you'll be able to see what you're framing when you're in a studio setting or just in a dark setting. And you can have it all customized straight to the click of a button. You just need to remember that, you know, when this is on, what you're seeing is not what you're getting because it's not going to be that bright. It's not going to be that shallow. And yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I hope this kind of saves your life next time you're in the studio and suddenly your whole viewfinder and screen goes black. All right, I hope you found this helpful. Leave a comment in the comment section. Give it a thumbs up if you liked what you saw and hit subscribe to get more videos from me at DoD Media. Cheers.